so you missed the live kahoot and aren't planning on watching the full 30 minute video of it that I linked down below of course. Well, no worries. A YouTube pal of mine that goes by Can't Catch actually made a ridiculously good shorter form of it of all the parts you missed. I really like the video so I hope you do too. Please subscribe to his channel, he's so close to 100 subscribers, and check out his Tinkerbell Hexology video. It's one of my favorites. So without any further ado, it's all you can't catch. Wow, people are actually joining, what the heck? Oh no, Z left. Z, where'd you go? <laughs> the more the merrier. Oh, Z's back, yay. <laughs> okay, let's hope nobody comes into my room. Just to bother you or something. What? Just to bother you or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> like my room is the hangout spot for no reason. Exactly, like you said, I'm popular. What can I say? <laughs> it's like I low key want to wait <laughs> longer, but y'all guys have been here for so long. Oh, yay! Okay, we're about to start any second now. That's a tough one. This one is the hardest question on here. <laughs> Are you seven people? Somebody joined? Two people joined. Wow. I think I think it's not Hey, y'all all got it right. Come on. How dare you? Okay, somebody put dragon and Jane. Sorry, that's not it. And two people put Dragon Tales. Okay, so you're confusing the story a bit, but okay. So kudos to the four people who picked Jane and the Dragon. That's a, that's a very common mistake, honestly. I, I, would, I would do that. Dragon Tales. I want to know the one person who put Hidden Jewels and why. Is it because you saw Pearly and Sapphira? Because if I didn't know the show, I'd put fairies in the city. <laughs> that, that, that title makes way more sense, honestly. Yeah, why Hidden Jewels? <laughs> yeah, like, you just see, like, like, sparkly fairies or something. Right. Like, why, why would you call them Pearly? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the question where you, like, you gaslight me. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what time did you go night out? Okay. So I searched this one up, guys, and I did see 12 a.m. Okay, so technically she's right, but depending on the time zone, if you were Eastern, it started at 12, and if you were at Central, it started at 11. So, okay, fine, I'll give her that. She's technically right. People who are having Mandela effect right now thinking it was 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was 10. I know it was 10. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell Oh no! Can't catch past Marty. Smarty, you're supposed to be smart. Come on. Oh my god! You know I remember loving She Girl. Honestly, that was like that was just like a good show. For that was one of my favorite shows. She Girl. <laughs> no! You guys were not Night Owl stands, okay? How are you kidding me? Who put Ghostbusters? That's literally it feel that sounds like a nighttime show. This one you have to read, okay? People are gonna get this one wrong just because no one wants to read. <laughs> no one wants to read. Why would you want them to make Yeah, only 50% of you got it right. So the most was a boy named Alfred writing strange and mysterious stories. Um, no, sorry. And Alfred is a 
is a hedgehog who likes to solve strange, mysterious picture puzzles. You see, I thought most people would pick this one. You know, solve strange, mysterious, and then they just click it without reading the rest. Picture puzzles? No. But I'm glad to the five of you who picked the right answer. Nice. Smarty is back in the lead. Thank God that Can't Catch is out of first place. Yay! I got most of y'all! <laughs> The show is actually called Animal Atlas, not Animal Antics. Wow, Eric with the eight correct answers, answer streak. Really? Macy the monkey? Come on, day. Maisie the monkey, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, because if it was me, I would pick Pippi Longstocking. But then you remember Treehouse, and you're like, oh, it's Miss Beachy. Because everything else, like, denotes red hair. Pippi has red hair. Penelope Red, that's literally red in the name. And Redhead Vicky. Miss Beachy gives nothing of red unless you know the show, so. Okay, so she was not Native American. I'll give you a clue as to just read her name. <laughs> That's like the biggest clue. <laughs> okay, because if y'all had chosen Native American after y'all, y'all just saw that was that was wrong. I'd be surprised. But um, no, she was not Somalian. I mean, I kind of put that there to trick some of y'all but yeah bollywood is indian i'm pretty sure i know i'm, I'm i know that's a fact so <laughs> everybody knows that okay babar the monkey was he a monkey Babar is a bear name, or is it just me? Like yeah. Babar the monk, the bear. Yeah. yeah. They should have changed the show to be about bears. It would have been more interesting. Would it? I don't really like bears, honestly. Well, that sounds like a you problem, babe. I don't know. Like, like, are you making the show? No, no, you're not. Okay, but you're not making the show either. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, this is the that determines everything. Okay, someone didn't enjoy it. Uh, that's unfortunate. It could have been better. I feel like there's always room for improvement. A lot of people liked it. And no one no one was too unsure of themselves, so okay. Third place is can't catch. <laughs> Second place is Z and first place drum roll. Um, Eric, feel free to DM me on my Instagram at Living Daylights Official. This one, a surprise cash amount. You can't tell anybody, Eric. Only just like five dollars. Hey. <laughs>